Welcome to Let's Talk Meshing's Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature in just a couple of minutes. In today's video, we're going to be going over two of the unstructured grid solver's control parameters. So on the screen, what you can see here is a cut through an existing unstructured block consisting of pure uh, isotropic tetrahedra. And what I'm going to do is go to Grid Solve, and under the Attributes tab, you can see the tetrahedra frame and the minimum equilateral edge length and maximum equilateral edge length. These are the two parameters that we're going to be talking about. Now, the minimum equilateral edge length is basically going to allow you to specify a lower limit on the edges of the tetrahedral cells. And if an edge happens to be smaller than the value you specify, a point won't be in inserted into the cell. So it's it's basically a way to um, provide a safeguard. I don't want any cells that have edge lengths smaller than that value. And by default, it's pulling that value from the boundary, from the domains. Maximum equilateral edge length, on the other hand, lets you set the largest cell edge that's going to be allowed in the grid. And if an edge is greater than that, a point will be inserted in the mesh to reduce that value. And again, by default, it's using the boundary to specify that max edge length. So these are kind of bounds on the edge lengths that are allowed for the tetrahedra that are being created in this block. So let's go ahead and play with these. Let's, let's set the minimum equilateral edge length 0.02 and go ahead and initialize that. And we can take a cut through the volume and you can see it didn't really do anything, right? Because all we've done is just drop the minimum allowable edge length and not much has changed. So let's go ahead and set the maximum edge length to something larger as well. Let's say like 0.5 instead of the boundary default, which is 0.1. Go ahead and initialize and you can see again, not much has really happened. I mean, the edge lengths have changed a little bit, but other than that, not too much. But where you start to see some interesting effects is, let's say we want our minimum edge length to be no smaller than 0.02, but let's also say we want our maximum to be no greater than 0.02, right? So they're the same value. If we go ahead and initialize that and examine, now you can see that effectively what we've done is obviously we have a transition from the boundaries to the interior, but we've said we don't want our minimum edge length to be smaller than 0.02, but we also don't want the maximum edge length to be larger than 0.02. So again, effectively, you can use the min and max equilateral edge length parameters in the unstructured solver to kind of bound the edge lengths of the TET mesh that is being developed. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or comments, drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.